hello everyone welcome back to our channel so good to have you guys back here again thank you once again for your continuous massive and huge support to this channel god bless you my people and we pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again guys yes my people we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country the one we've got before our decks is coming all the way from the united states of america U.S. slams sanction on top Nigerian politicians and others. Wow, we know two major elections are due to take place. Um, the first is the Edo State Governorship election um, slated for September 19th and the other one is um, on the State Governorship election. Also, we know some states have had some issues um, about their uh, governorship election uh, um, um, the Bayosa state and um, even Kogi state as well that have been um, to court regarding um, the winner of the election. The United States, they are well um, uh, uh, aware of everything going on in the country and they are aware of the actions of top politicians, political actors in the country. Now they, they have stated that uh, they are going to impose a visa in, um, restriction on all of those politicians that uh, uh, that have considered that have been considered to undermine the electoral process um in some of the states so nigeria united states is getting involved right now anyway guys um and them um, they are opening their eyes very well to the Edo state governorship election to see how it goes we'll get you more details shortly but before we do guys please if you haven't given us a thumbs up yet go ahead and give us a thumbs up click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe as well thank you once again Yes, we'll go straight into the news now and grab all of the details. The United States has imposed visa restriction on top politicians and other categories of Nigerians it's considered to have undermined the electoral process in some states. The Department of State, in a statement on Monday, said those to be affected are individuals whose actions have undermined the democratic process during the November 2019 Kogi and Bayelsa State Governorship Election. Also in the category are those behind violence in Saturday's Edo State Governorship Election and the October 10th on those State Governorship Election. In a statement on its website, the department said, The United States is a steadfast supporter of Nigeria democracy. We commend all those Nigerians who participated in the elections throughout 2019 and have worked to strengthen Nigerian democratic institution and processes. We remain committed to working together to advance democracy and respect for human rights and achieve greater peace and prosperity for both our nations. We condemn the act of violence, intimidation or corruption that harmed Nigerians and undermined the democratic process. Controversy trailed the Kogi poll at the battle shifted from the ballot box to the courts the litigations that follow the election transverse the governorship election petition tribunal, the Court of Appeal, before terminating at the Supreme Court. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, announced incumbent governor Yahya Bello and candidate of the All Progressive Congress, APC, as winner. One of the candidates alleged exclusion from the process, although the court dismissed her request of the nullification of the election. Violence was reported from hot spots across the state during the election. There was also a massive violence in the Bayelsa election won by APC candidate David Leon. But the Supreme Court nullified the victory and returned PDP candidate Doye Diri as governor. Domestic monitors and foreign observers complain about sporadic shootings and disruption of polling units in some voting areas in Kogi. Ahead of the Edo governorship pool, fears arrive that it may be marred by violence judging by the pre-election violence. INEC chairman Professor Mahmoud Yakub acknowledged on Monday at a stakeholders meeting in Benin City, the state capital, that pooling may take place under a charged atmosphere. Pre-election party meetings and rallies have been disrupted, leading to accusations and counter-accusations between the two major parties. Miffed by the spate of violence, Benin monarch Oba Eware II broke at a peace meeting with elders of the ruling and major opposition parties, urging them to eschew violence. 
Governor Godwin Obaseki of the PDP and his major challenger, Osage Ize Iyam of the APC, will today sign a peace pact before the General Abu Bakr Abdul Salami Peace Committee. The State Department said it was observing the event leading to the pool in Edo and Ondo State. It urged the stakeholders to ensure the sanctity of the ballot box. The department added, as the Edo and Ondo off-cycle election near, we urge all stakeholders, including the Independent National Electoral Commission, the political parties, and the security service to uphold the tent of democracy and facilitate genuinely free and fair elections conducted in an appropriate, transparent, and non-violent manner. The U.S. on January 24th last year said it will consider visa restrictions for individuals responsible for undermining the democratic process for organizing election-related violence. It said in July 19, we announced the imposition of visa restrictions on Nigerians who undermined the February and March 2019 elections. Today, the Secretary of State is imposing additional visa restrictions on individuals for their actions surrounding the November 2019 Kogi and Bayelsa State election in the run-up to the September and October 2020 Edo and Ondo State elections. These individuals have so far operated with impunity at the expense of Nigerian people and have undermined democratic principles. It added, the Department of State emphasizes that the actions announced today are specific to certain individuals and not directed at the Nigerian people. This decision reflects the Department of State's commitment to working with the Nigerian government to realize its express commitment to end corruption and strengthen democracy, accountability, and respect for human rights. So, my people, it's really, really interesting to note um, that the U.S. and the United States, they are watching everything going on. The way uh, 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 um, our leaders take powers in their hand and also to undermine democracy, not to allow the, the voice of the people to be heard and even the vote of the people to count. They've stated right now that they are watching the events, everything leading up um, to the Ondo and the Edo State Governorship election. Anyway, my people, let us know what you think down below on the comments section. The USM, um, they've stated that it's going to slam restriction on anyone that is found uh, um, trying to truncate a democratic process in the state. Drop us your thoughts. Thank you once again. Please, if you haven't given us a thumbs up yet, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe as well. Till I come your way again, it's bye for now and God bless.